Hey Superstars, I am super, super excited about today's video. Funk and Mess and I have been talking about collaborating on a project and uh, yeah, here it is. Funkin came up with the idea to make relic cards. So not only are we both making relic cards for your viewing pleasure, we're simultaneously running super awesome contests not affiliated with YouTube in any way. And we hope you like them and we hope you enter and all that good stuff. So yeah, I just designed what my card is gonna look like, sort of. Uh, I made a couple of little changes off camera, but nothing too major. Now I need a couple of relics. Hmm. This is an SD card that I've used for filming videos and it's gone bad. See, it says so right there. Uh, perfect, I'm making two cards, so I'm gonna cut that in half. Frank Viola, what else, what else, what else? I got it. Let's put this thing together. So the relics are going to be seen through the holes in my glasses there, so we got to cut those out. I found these tiny little baggies for my beard hair. So you know, this won't be gross or anything. I'm taking some foam cord board and cutting out a little pocket for the relics to sit in with my X-Acto knife. beard hair hole works. That's hard to say. There's the SD card. Making sure everything lines up, looking pretty good. Time for some spray mount. Okay, looks good. Now I gotta line up the back and spray that on too. I've got an eighth inch bleed all the way around the layout. That's extra image that's printed past the edges of where I'm going to cut the card. That way if the cut's off a little bit, you won't be able to tell. Alright, now this is the most nerve-wracking part, cutting it down to final size. Cutting foam core can be a little bit tricky because you need to cut it straight up and down. If the blade is angled a little bit, you're really going to be able to tell. I'm also using fresh sharp blades for this and uh, taking my time. I like it. <laughs> the best relic cards are signed too, so I don't want to let you all down. I thought it would be funny to do a sticker auto, but uh, decided against it. Awesome sauce if I do say so myself. Almost hate to give these away. I made two. One is going to Funkin'. This one is going to one of you lucky people. <laughs> So we're each doing three levels of prizes. Funkin is doing his own prizes, so go visit his channel and find out what he's doing. But you can easily enter both of our contests with the same entries. For my third place prize, all you have to do to enter is comment, I'm in, and do the same on Funkin's channel. I'm giving away two Bazooka One-Liners Relic cards. Bill Madlock here says two grand slams in a week. That's like seven or eight ribbies right there. Awesome math, Mr. Madlock. And this Joe Morgan one is cool too, but it's TLDR. I really like the jersey swatch on this one. Again, just comment, I'm in, for a chance to win these guys. The second prize is just this little old Hank Aaron bat relic. I hear some people like him. Very cool card. It's a 2003, I think, Topps Gallery, but for a chance to win this one, you have to make a video showing off your favorite relic card. It would help if you leave a link to that video in the comments, and again, you can use the same video to enter Funkin's contest too. The grand prize is a little tougher. To enter, you have to show us a relic card that you made. You don't have to show us a video of yourself making the card, but that would be pretty cool. 
Again, link your video in the comments and do the same for Funkin' and all the winners will be randomized and you can enter all three tiers if you'd like. Anyway, one lucky person is gonna get my relic card numbered one of two. You're also gonna get this super sweet rack pack of 1986 Topps bubblegum cards, except there's no 34 year old gum in there. So I'm gonna throw in this fresh pack of Big League Chew and the greatest rookie card ever, straight out of my Alvaro Espinosa Super Collection. That's pretty sweet. And this fancy Wiley Wallaby Australian licorice. This is the good stuff. You know what though? I'm, I'm gonna hold on to that. You can't have my licorice, that's mine. But I will give you a dollar, that's a pretty one. So you can go to the dollar store and get your own licorice. And I don't know if your state tax is licorice, but I'll throw in this dime just in case. I don't know Jack about coins, it could be a special dime worth like 12 cents maybe, like I said, I don't know. Let's see what else do I have lying around here. Oh, I've got this Bobby Richardson doodle on an index card. I did this in preparation for my Bobby Richardson TTM doodle video. I thought it looked better than the finished product actually, so yeah. Um, oh, I have this pack of Bill and Ted's most atypical movie cards. You could win a trip to San Dimas, California if that contest hadn't expired years ago. San Dimas is pretty nice actually, and I hear they've got a pretty good high school football program. And I've got these three packs of 2018 Bowman paper, nothing but the best for you guys. And what else? Uh, some penny sleeves and a box of top loaders. I hear supplies are hard to come by, so yeah. Go watch Funkin's video. We're really looking forward to seeing your relic cards. Like, comment, subscribe, yada, yada, yada. Stay safe, stay healthy, and do not cut your fingers off with an X-Acto knife. Oh, hey, I cut a little too much off. Oops. <laughs>